All right, let's begin with some top business headline making the rounds now, talking about fintech, fintech in Africa. Despite the vast opportunities for success that access to the internet and technology provides for small businesses in Africa, less than 7% of micro enterprises use technology for business. A new International Finance Corporation World Bank research has shown. The report, which was released Thursday yesterday, indicated that economists at the World Bank and IFC analyzed data from a survey of 3,325 micro-enterprises in seven countries, Ghana, Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria, Senegal, South Africa, and Tanzania. According to the survey, micro-enterprises that use smartphones and computers reported 2.8 uh, times higher rate of productivity, six times higher skills levels, and 1.9 times the number of employees than known users. The survey also shows that less than 7% of micro-enterprises said they use digital technologies for business. And now the Naira lost 10.2% of its value in 2022. That's according to the World Bank. The Global Bank reviewed this in its latest Africa's Pulse report for April 2023. The bank stressed that rising food and fuel prices are as well as the depreciation of the exchange rate were the main drivers of inflationary pressures in the region. The Washington-based bank noted that the hiking of monetary policy with Nigeria increasing rates by 650 basis points has not translated to a reduction in inflation rate. And away from there now, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries with Russia and other allies known as OPEC Plus on Sunday took the world by surprise with the announcement of further cuts of 1.16 million barrels per day from the oil production. The oil cartel and its allies were expected to stick to 2 million barrels per day of cuts already in place until the end of 2023. However, the latest cut will start in May as oil prices shot up to above 86 uh, US dollars per barrel. Although OPEC Plus says the cuts were aimed at supporting market stability, the market described this as a surprise move, especially because the development comes a day before a virtual meeting of the OPEC Plus ministerial panel, which includes Saudi Arabia and Russia. And finally, the House of Representatives on Thursday set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited over the alleged diversion and conversion of 20 billion naira by its officials in the guise of payment to a consultant. This is despite the NNPC Limited denying the allegation earlier on Monday. The Deputy Chairman House Committee on Banking and Currency Hafiz Kau had moved a motion of urgent public importance urging the chamber to probe into the alleged crime. Well, of course, these are some of the top business headlines now. So we'll take a break now, and when we return, it's the time to make sense of these uh, stories. We'll be back in a moment. This is Business Breakfast.